These are a few small items that I've been making for a bazaar at my kids' school. Little coin purses that you can put on a key ring or hook into your purse and things like that. Um, just really cute little things for the bazaar at my kids' school. And um, I've been making these also. They're little pen pouches that you can put into a backpack or um, into your purse or what have you. And so I thought I would just show you guys really quickly how to make these. They're really fast, really simple, and um, you can make them with scrap yarn. You can mix and match colors if you'd like, however, and it's just a really cute little thing to put in a purse or backpack. To begin, we're just going to go ahead and chain 64. So just start with your slip knot on your hook and go ahead and do that. Okay, once you have your chain of 64, we're going to do half double crochet. So instead of beginning at the first or second chain from the hook, we're going to move down to the third chain from the hook and yarn over, go through there, pull up your loop, and pull through all three loops. So that's your half double crochet, and we're going to continue that all the way back down to the beginning of our foundation chain. And here's a close-up of that half double crochet. I'm going to yarn over. One, two, three. We're going to go into the third chain from the hook. Pull up your loop. You now have three loops on your hook. Go ahead and pull through all three And that's your first half double crochet. Then go ahead and work the next half double crochet into the very next stitch over in your foundation chain. And here I'm going to mark my first half double crochet so that when I get back to that side I'll know exactly which is my last stitch. Once you get to the first chain in your foundation chain continue with doing your half double crochet into that spot just as you did with all of the others. So there's our half double crochet, chain two, turn your work and we're going to do the same thing here doing a row of half double crochet in each stitch. Once you have eight total rows of the half double crochet, go ahead and chain one. Now across the top here, we're going to do a row of single crochet, and then we're going to make a few chains to make the loop that will attach with our buttonhole, and then we'll go ahead down the rest of the pouch. So to make the pouch, you want to fold your work in whatever length you would like it to be, and then this top piece becomes the flap. So you can take a pen and just measure it out to make sure that however long you have made your folds, it will fit the things that you want to have in your pouch. So once you have it, fold it over. You can go ahead and use a stitch marker to kind of just hold it in place so that you know exactly where you would like that fold to be. And we'll mark this side also. So now, just put your hook right back in there. We had done the chain one after we were done with this very last row. And now we're going to do single crochet across the top. So just kind of go into whichever spaces you can right here to make that nice edge. Now once you've gotten to just about the midsection, we're going to do that single crochet and then go ahead and chain. I'm making a chain of five because uh, that will work with the size of buttons that I'm going to be using here. So you want to make a chain of how many ever would loop around that button that you're using. So I've done one, two, three, four, and my last one, five. And then I'm going to go right over here and make a single crochet. Okay. 
and you can just double check, make sure it looks as though it's in the middle there. I even left a little space, so I didn't go right into the very next spot to do my next single crochet. I just moved over a little, so I have that nice loop. And now just go ahead and continue making your single crochets around this top edge and come down the side as well. Now you can see I continued my row of single crochet. I started that right up here, went along, did the chains for my loop, and then I just continued my single crochet all the way down. Once I got to where my stitch marker was, I took out my stitch marker and continued doing this row of single crochet. But now I'm making sure to go through this front part as well as the back panel so that we're joining these two together to make the pocket. Okay, I've made it all the way down this side of the pen pouch. I went ahead and slip stitched into this very last spot. I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn there and then just um, sew this piece in. Now this side is completely joined, so we'll move on to the next side to join this half of the pocket. You want to make sure that you're nicely lined up still on this side and your stitch marker is in there so we can go ahead and just join into this piece right here so we'll take our yarn go through one of these final areas here and then just add in your yarn to this side and we're going to continue doing the same single crochet up this side of the pocket as well so join, chain one there, and then go ahead and start your single crochet into that same space. So that way your yarn is joined in and you'll just sew this end in once you're done. Okay, I'm all done with the pouch that I made in this video. This is my final result. I put on the button, all of the sides are sewn up and everything. So um, I wanted to show just a little bit of a comparison. This one that I worked on on the video, I used a 4.5 millimeter hook to do that. This one I worked on prior to this video and I used a four millimeter hook for this one. Um, you can clearly see this one came out a lot smaller than the 4.5 millimeter hook because it is smaller so the stitches are closer together and tighter. Um, I personally really like using the four millimeter hook for this project because it makes such a nice tight um, stitch and you know it's really firm. The points on your pens or pencils aren't necessarily going to get through the little spaces in the crochet. Um, the 4.5 works as well. It's definitely more flexible, um, you know, it doesn't feel as um, thick or sturdy, but it still works nicely. It'll give you a bigger pouch, of course, because you're using a bigger hook. So if you wanna do the same amount of work but get a bigger product, then you know use the 4.5 hook and that's what your result will look like. For these, I use the Red Heart Yarn, um, the pink camo version. And let's see, I think this one says it recommends a 5.5 millimeter hook. So of course, you can change it up, do it however you like, but I just wanted to show you guys what the final product of the one I did in this video looks like, as well as the comparison if you wanted to make it a little bit um, more of a tighter, firmer pouch.